Well, hello, everybody. Appreciate you stopping by to see how the farm's doing this week. Had a really good flight home from Anchorage back to Fairbanks Friday night. The crew decided to take this opportunity to do a circle around the mountain because the weather was so good. Not only did we circle one way, we went both ways so both sides of the plane could get a good look at the mountain. Denali is impressive. Wonder if you can see any climbers in this picture. Wonder what they're thinking looking at the jet. This is something the Alaska Airline planes do when the weather's appropriate and they have time. They're happy to do a fly around and show the mountain off to everybody on the plane. Always impressive. And believe it or not, as big as it looks in the window, we are about 3,000 feet above the peak and uh, five miles offset from the, from the center of the peak there. The crew does such a great job and it really does go to show that they really enjoy their job and understand that being able to do a flight scene tour with an airliner around North America's tallest peak is a unique experience for everybody. And every time I get to do it, I think, wow, this is just on my commute home from work. How amazing is that? Believe it or not, about 80 miles to the right and just uh, up in the corner is where the farm is. It amazes me how close we really are to the mountain. Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. It's supposed to be in the mid 80s today. So looking forward to that. It is build lots of stuff today. We've got to put steps on the trailer, um, get things set up, be a whole lot of organization day today, which is uh, a good thing. Um, I've got company with me today in the truck. I know the sun's right in you. There's a bell. There's a Dusty. It is a cab full of collies, isn't it? You ready to go to the farm? Are you ready? She's always ready. Well, it's after 7. I guess 7.20. dogs are hot. Crossing the first little bridge and it is full. This is kind of a slough that drains into the Tanano River but it's a little backed up so when the river's high the sloughs also get high. It's pretty pretty common and when it gets warm like this the glaciers melt more. There's still a little bit of snow melting from up in the mountains. Um, and it tends to make the rivers rise a fair bit. It's pretty interesting when it's hot and dry, the river levels rise. And a river like the uh, Tanana can fluctuate six, eight inches a day, uh, up and down. So depending on how much water is coming down. And imagine water coming down the gutter of a street and you watch it come kind of in ripples. Well, the same thing happens in the river, just a little bit slower and not quite as obvious. Uh, they're predicting some thunderstorms this afternoon. I think me and Dave will be done with our carpentry project long before those start. And I don't know if we'll even get anything out of them. Would be nice. I've forgotten something for this project at the house. That's the problem with working a remote construction job. You're always forgetting something, no matter how hard you try. Okay, well, enough of this road. Let's go ahead and get on out to the farm. Okay, this truck doesn't have air conditioning, so that's why we've got the windows down and a little noisy coming up on the culvert they put in or the slough and they're doing their final grade work and widening of the roadbed here so pretty nice
you look on the right hand corner you can see the white trailer that's the farm I saw previous videos you'd see had to really you know had a big hump and they've been doing raises on this to so pretty pretty nice to the squeak in the truck eventually. If I fix that one, another one will come around, so just kind of have accepted it. So there's a fairly good sized pile of material. This has been staged for various uh, projects. And they will be using it to put in the farm approach here. And that's supposed to happen in the next few days. So not quite sure what their plan is, but whatever they do will be wonderful, for sure. Dave's thinking, can't you tell? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Well, this is where we're at so far. On the back side of the farm. You happy dogs? You're hot dogs. Can definitely tell the difference in the material. Most of that was mulched with the hammer teeth with the carbides. And then you move over to this side, and this is where it's done with the chisel teeth. So chops it up much better. Okay, came out feeding the corn again. <clears throat> so we can see some are doing pretty darn good and some are just okay. One thing to remember, we don't give up. I have no idea how the summer is going to turn out. We have a week of upper, upper 70s, mid 80s. Here's one that is coming right along. There's where an ear will be. That's really good stuff. There's a few of those out here. A lot of them that are right behind. So just depending on how the summer ends up. And the rest of these that were looking kind of questionable are actually filling in pretty good. So 
we will see what happens with them. Super exciting. So here's a little gaspy that snuck in with the sweet corn. Looks like it's actually trying to make three ears. Don't know if it'll pollinate all by itself like this. That's a little bit rough. We'll see what it does this year. Okay, we're putting steps together for the back of the trailer so we can access it easily. Because they're gonna get a lot of use. Be plenty wide. Dusty's helping. I'm not sure Dave appreciates the help, but just get him to hold a hammer. It is a beautiful day. It's gonna be warm. Dave's a much better carpenter than I am, so I will uh, pull maintenance on the skid steer while he's carpentering. Okay, while well, Dave's working on the steps, there was just the weekly maintenance to do to the skid steer. Kind of get it blown off. It needs to be thoroughly greased. Take and pull out the cabin air filters. There's two of those. Change them out. The air filter, change that out. Just go through it. And make sure everything looks like it's in good shape. Check all the fluids. Inspect the engine compartment. Look for anything leaking. I had one broken grease cert on the locks for the quick coupler that needed to be replaced. That was no big deal to do. Vacuumed out the interior. Blew out the interior. Take the time. Pull the radiator guard up. Fully blow out the radiator. Make sure any sticks and debris were out of the outer cover. Pretty much just a good thorough inspection to make sure we don't see anything that we need to catch ahead of time before it becomes a real problem. Depending how many hours it gets during the week, it'll probably be due for another oil change. And at the same time, you need to clean out the belly of the machine and underneath the engine as well to keep all that debris out. While I was doing all that work to the skid steer, Dave was sorting lumber picking out the pieces he needed for building the platforms and the steps. For somebody like me, I'm always amazed that somebody can be so good with carpentry work and lumber. I measure a board three times, and I still cut the darn thing off too short. My hat's off to Dave. Good morning, everybody. A beautiful Sunday morning. I'm gonna be one of the warmest ones for the summer, they're saying. Yesterday was pretty warm. Some super high clouds, which actually be kind of nice to cut the sun down a little bit. Don't think it's going to make it any cooler, but still, it'll cut down. Okay, regular morning pit stop and then off to the farm. Okay, here's the work on the culvert. So they really brought a lot of fill in. Level it all out. And then they will uh, top this off with some finer stuff. Well, since we're moving our base operation up on the hill, filling the water tank up to take up so we have water up there. Um, definitely not the drinking kind of water, but we'll run the pressure washer. Um, it's nice to have water in case you have a fire. Pretty much anything, um, as hot and dry as it is, it has a multitude of uses. So fill that up this morning. Dave's already up working on the stairs. Here's the corn today. This is varying stages. We see some of these taller ones here. 
are already starting to tassel. There's where those ears are coming out. They'll probably have silks on them by next weekend. So, and the rest of these smaller ones do have tassels in them. Oh, there it is. So, they'll be a little bit behind. So there's one right there. And where the ear is going to come out. <clears throat> so we will see. Well, this depends what the summer's like. If uh, the fall is a warm fall and long. There's a very good chance a lot of this corn will go ahead and produce. It may be first or second week of September. And pretty nice in a new field. Of course we have the nutrients problems, but the weeds are only some grasses and some fireweed and uh, the occasional rose hip or you know tree trying to grow. Pretty minimal. Well, here's how the oats have been looking. Okay, here's those field peas, the yellow field peas, and they're actually making pods. Well, the steps are coming along. The best built, most substantial thing on the farm right now is the steps. <laughs> The chisel teeth we installed on the mulcher need to be sharpened periodically. How much will depend on how you're mulching and what kind of material you're mulching. The grinder we had at the beginning was not quite big enough to do a good job. So after getting this larger 9 inch DeWalt grinder, we're able to properly profile the teeth. I did spend a couple of hours on Sunday getting them all back into shape, but after they're all back in shape and set, they're much easier to maintain that, especially with a large grinder. This is something that we expected and knew that maintenance with these teeth was going to happen and that they're not going to last forever and will need to be replaced periodically. Okay, here's what a tooth looks like before it's sharpened. I put a new tooth next to it to get my angle right for the profiling then start removing material until I get the profile I want and have taken the surface of the tooth down so it's completely flat and there's a sharp edge. This is something that needs to be done daily and if not even taking the time at lunch to touch them up. You definitely notice sharper teeth. It speeds up work and it does much easier on the equipment. This is something we expected with these teeth and knew it was a process that needed to happen. It's looking like for us the teeth may last around 200 or 250 hours. But the quality of the job and how much faster we're getting the work done is definitely worth the time to sharpen and uh, worth the expense to change out the teeth. And yep, with all those sparks around, we wetted everything down and had the water standing by. Okay, well, we're gonna try the steps. The awning might be in the way, but first time. Look at that. Easy access. Much better. Dave's closing the door. Here's the finished product. Turned out good. 
and they are stout. Okay, not sure I've ever shown headed out from the farm. It is a warm one today. I think the official temperature in Fairbanks is 83, I think, at the moment. I have no doubt it is much warmer than that here. At least feels that way. Yesterday we were five degrees warmer than Fairbanks, according to two thermometers in the shade. So it might be mid 80s, upper 80s. Hot dogs. George is mowing. Rosie's over there watching. Okay, lawnmower was pretty loud. The cherries are looking really good. There's a whole lot of them that are ripe and a bunch more coming on. Even though they're a tart cherry, they're actually pretty darn sweet. Great to have them. And very tasty. The corn's all tasseling. Starting to make little ears. See where they're coming out. In fact, when it's hot like this, the corn even smells corn ish. Corny. Well, from everybody out on the farm, appreciate you guys stopping by and checking in and seeing what we're up to. We'll have some more new exciting videos next week and let you know what's going on out on the farm. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.